Okay, again, hello, Miss Tara. How are you today? Hello, Mom. I'm doing great today. Okay, so that's good. And let's start our interview call. So I would like you to I would like to thank you for accepting this job interview call. And first, can you tell me something about yourself? By the way, Mom, I am Sergeant Salomon. I am 29 years old. I have a bachelor's degree in secondary education with a major in English from Trinidad Municipal College. And recently, I have just finished a certification course in general virtual assistant training, where I have learned a lot of from that training, such as the branding, the designing, and also the content writing and email marketing. And I'm also a mother of one kid, and my hobbies are reading stories, watching movies, and also gardening. Okay, that's good. And let, uh, can you also share to me some of your strengths? Um, my greatest strength, I believe, is my being adaptable or adaptability to accepting challenges and changes in life, which that prepares me to learn and adapt new things in the near future. Okay. Can you also share to me your weakness? There are times when I give full attention, especially when it comes to the task and obligation that I have. I have the personality of being sometimes perfectionist and because of that I want to ensure that I deliver the best results possible and so with this I strive to use that my time wisely in order to ensure a good quality outcome. Okay so are you a lifelong learner Sarah? What are you studying at the moment? Yes indeed I always see opportunities and seize chances, especially for my studies and trainings. I myself believe that I am a lifelong learning learner because I realize that learning is a dynamic and lifelong process. So now I am currently studying general virtual assistance and my deep thanks to the scholarship approved by the DICT and the municipality of trade LGUs. Okay, so um, are you a, how long have you been a freelancer? So are you still new to freelancing or do you have any past clients? Uh, for now, I am in the new to freelancing. I do not yet have any clients or experience in freelancing, but I am open to all the possibilities of learning new things in order to provide the best outcome for my clients. Though I do not yet have a client, but I can assure my client that I always be committed and dedicated to the task at hand given. Okay, so if we desire if we decide to hire you, what work can you do for us since you're new to freelancing? Maybe I can give um, graphic designing and I have also skills in a little skills in data entry I, where I can input um, input documents with the use of excel like that okay so that's perfect because um what we need is a virtual assistant to handle our startup small company based in uk so by the way we are based in the uk and we wanted someone to really handle our administrative tasks like um yeah what you you have said like the entry some invoice checking and also um, also doing some social media marketing or digital marketing. So um, when I saw your when I saw your application, you're also um, you have also an experience in doing some graphics that could help us in our digital marketing. So that's good. And um, by the way, this is just a part time position for now, Sarah. Um, we we would offer you a four hours per day, twenty hours a week. So, are you available to work for four hours a day, 8 p.m. to 12 midnight on your time? Mm, yes. Yes, I can give time to that, mom. Okay, perfect. So, and um, if you can see on the job um, job requirement, we also um, offered a $200 per month starting salary. So, that would be our starting salary. And as soon as we 
see your uh, work performance after three months, we could level up or raise your salary. So for now, it's $200 per month. Are you okay with working for a starting salary of $200 per month? Yes, it's okay for me, ma'am. Okay, so good. And are you a team player? Sarah, can you work with teams or do you prefer working alone? Um, for me, mom, I I can work with team, but there are times that I all want to focus on myself because there, there I can assure that I can give the best results. Okay, so that's good. And um, what is your long-term goal as a freelancer? As a freelancer, my long-term goal is to find a client with whom I can collaborate and work with. I also want to build a strong connection with my client. Okay, so that's good. And last two questions from my end. First is how would you take negative feedback from your client, Sarah? Um, for me, mom, negative feedback or criticism is not a serious issue for me. But I just look at it uh, in a positively manner. Because I believe that feedback or criticism is always a part of my journey in career. And it serves me as my guide to build a strong personality. Okay, so that's good. And last question so that we would know if you really understood the job requirement. So what is your understanding of the job requirements and description? Um, based from the job description, mom, I understand that your company needs a... Uh, um, a virtual assistance with having uh, skills in graphic design and data entry and also with the skills in Microsoft Excel. Excel. Okay, that's good. So um, again, thank you, Sarah. That's all from my end. So do you have any questions about the project or to me? Um, for now, mom. I, I, I can. Uh, my question is that those does your company provides training and equipment? Um, for now, since we are a small startup company, we don't provide any equipments or um, uh, but we can provide the training because you would be learning a new system that we we are following for our invoicing. So, um, as soon as you're onboarded, as soon as we hire you. We would give you the contract or agreement and also a training um, video regarding on how to use the system. So you can start working. Okay, mom. Well. Okay, so thank you so much again, Sarah. And we would update you regarding your job application status. As soon as possible, you would receive an email from us. Thank you and have a good day. Have a good day, mom. Thank you. Bye.